Now, here I was just doing some research for my next video over here on this channel. And I ran across a video of a friendly neighborhood Wakandan talking about the Robert Downey Jr. Dr. Doom situation. Robert Downey Jr. is set to play Dr. Doom. He replaces Jonathan Majors. Now, there's a lot of backlash happening because of this, because, you know, Robert Downey Jr., who has a criminal record, yeah. Particularly how it pertains to um, Jonathan Majors and how Dr. Doom is basically re replacing Kang, which means RDJ is going to replace Jonathan Majors, which basically means that Majors ain't coming back. All right, he, he got in major trouble, and now he is majorly replaced. You have been replaced. Yeah, and so this video was crazy, man. And I was like, all right, all right, I got to take a break from the research because I got to talk about this. <laughs> So, of course, you know, you know who I am. My name is Mario, a.k.a. The Real Super Mario. Check out the main channel because the main channel is popping, a.k.a. The Loot Box Hero, a.k.a. YouTube's Greatest Fat Man here, bringing you another video. All right. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I ran across this video. I was doing some research, and I was like, yeah, I got I to gotta talk about this one. All right. This kind of fits into the whole black escapism thing. And I think I want to do more of these one-off videos because I was doing like the, the, the big news videos. Tell me what, tell me what method do you like? Do you like the big news videos more or just these little one-offs in between my bigger projects? Tell me what you think down below. Uh, but yeah, you know, Oh, and of course, if you want to continue getting videos like this from me, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button. All that good stuff that YouTube requires you to do to continue getting videos from me. Follow me at twitter.com slash mario128. Like my video, tweet, share my video, tweet, and I'll shout out to you all this portion of the video. Let's get into it. So Robert Downey Jr. is playing uh, Dr. Doom. All right. So, you know, the, the, the Marvel is doing a course correction or a pivot, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And so they're pivoting away from the multiverse and Kang to Dr. Doom, which I'm not 100% sure is the best idea. I mean, I think Robert Downey Jr. playing um, playing Dr. Doom is an awesome idea, but I, I kind of think you should finish the Kang story. <laughs> like, at least have Robert Downey, like, have, you know, Doom kill Kang or something before you just pivot. I mean, I guess technically Kang is dead. He got killed by Ant-Man, which is kind of part of the problem. With this, the fact that he lost to Ant-Man, you know what I'm saying, kind of, you know, took some of the luster off of him as a character. So, uh, but yeah, you know what I'm saying, that's what we're doing. And of course, people had uh, uh, all types of reactions. Some people said it was a good idea. Some people said it was a bad idea. The one reaction I want to get in particular uh, is the reaction of a particular Wakandan by the name of Godfrey. Robert Downey Jr. is set to play Dr. Doom. He replaces Jonathan Majors. Now, there's a lot of backlash happening because of this, because, you know, Robert Downey Jr., who has a criminal record, yeah, drug possession, you know, all kinds of shit. By the way, I love Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. is one of the baddest actors around. Love him. But Jonathan Majors is getting a raw deal, man. Why can't they forgive him, man? This is one little thing that happened. You know, first of all, there was a white woman chasing his ass. I will admit, though, that Jonathan Majors did kind of get screwed over in this case. All right, if you don't really know what happened with Jonathan Majors, essentially, um, back on March 25th, 2023, uh, there was an altercation between him and his then girlfriend and uh, it, they were in the back of like an Uber or some kind of car or something. And she was trying to like hold him and keep him in the car. He was trying to leave the car. He pushes her back into the car and she hits her head and neck, you know, on the car going back in. Uh, and then he bolts. He just runs. This is the famous video of Jonathan Majors running from the white lady. Because she eventually chases him. Uh, and, you know, eventually this is kind of resolved um, after he calls 911. Uh, but he is subsequently arrested and charged with uh, misdemeanor, misdemeanor assault. And uh, I think um, 
like harassment or something like that. He had like two, two or three charges. Um, and I do think he kind of got a raw deal out of this because he was trying to get away from the situation. All right, even though I mean he did seemingly kind of push this chick, she was kind of holding him and trying to keep him from leaving a situation that he clearly wanted to leave. So yeah, it's it's kind of a messed up situation for him. Uh, and it kind of came up at the worst timing because Disney already had controversies going on with uh, their their political uh, uh, ties with Florida and how they were fighting with that. There was all the other woke stuff going on. There were so many Disney controversies going on at one time that, that this just came around. This came around at the worst possible time. I think if this came around when Disney was on a high point, I don't think this would have been as big of a deal. But having a, a so-called domestic abuser as the main character in your big Marvel cinematic whatever, like, it's, it's a really bad look at this time, you know? And that's kind of the thing, you know? It's just really bad timing, all right? It's bad PR, you know, bad, uh, <laughs> bad outcome to the trial because he did lose, you know? And yeah, I think that's that's kind of what hurt him. So a lot of people brought this up that oh well, Robert Downey Jr. he smoked crack and then he was able to come back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 you know, uh, Jonathan Majors he got chased by a white woman and now he out of a job. Well, for one, Robert Downey Jr. didn't just bounce back like that. Okay, all right. Two, what he did was like 20 plus years ago. All right, a lot of the people who are fans of the MCU and some of the people saying this stuff now probably weren't even alive when Robert Downey Jr. was smoking crack, okay? <laughs> Not to mention, he didn't just bounce back like that. He had to take, it took time. All right, I mean, what, let's see. He went to jail in what, 95, 94, something like that. Uh, Iron Man didn't come out until the early 2000s, like 2003, 2004, so... That was about a decade where he was basically out of the industry unless he was doing small roles, but it took him time before he could, you know, become Iron Man. Not to mention Iron Man was not a big character like he was today, like he is today. He was actually a much smaller, much low profile character back then. Because remember, early 2000s, the Avengers weren't that big of a thing. All right, this was before the MCU and all that stuff. This is back when the main Marvel heroes were the X-Men, Spider-Man, you know what I'm saying, the Fantastic Four to a slightly lesser extent, you know what I'm saying? And all of them were doing movies elsewhere, so that's why Marvel said, well, let's do the Avengers. And so they decided to do Iron Man. So this was technically like a B movie, kind of, sort of. Uh, if you really think about it, this is a B Iron Man was a B-level character in the movie type, you know, in the movie universe. But it happened to be so good, and people did he people liked him in the role so much that it worked. <laughs> I'm just saying. So no, no, man, that's 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 lame. That's all I'm saying. I think the guy should be forgiven. But like, I don't, I don't want to bring up race. Why does it have to be about race? Well, obviously, it is about race. I don't want to bring up race immediately brings up race oh wow that's crazy whenever somebody says i don't want to bring up race it's 135 percent about race and it's kind of unfair because white actors can do they can you know be on heroin be in rehab all kinds of shit, and they get chances they get other chances to redeem themselves and it's always an amazing story he was in rehab and then he came back and won an oscar you understand where i'm coming from you know, he kind of says this, and I'm like, he he has a picture of uh, of, of um, Tim Allen up there. Uh, Tim Allen sold crack in, like, the 70s. I'm sure that this guy was, I'm sure me and this guy wasn't alive when Tim Allen was selling crack. Not to mention, uh, have you seen a lot of Tim Allen lately? All right, I mean, Hollywood is not as forgiving as you think they are. Okay, all right, come on now. Oh, check this out. Why don't they have Jonathan Majors play a white man in the Marvel universe? You can tell this man. You can tell he knows nothing about Marvel. He's one of those like cool black people, like who hasn't kind of got hip with the times yet. He wanted the cool cat blacks. Like, oh, I don't watch that Marvel stuff. I don't play video games. You know, I'm not a nerd. 
You know what I'm saying? I watch sports and the the real housewives of Compton. You know what I'm saying? Man, so technically, uh, if you really want to think about it, Kang is a descendant of Reed Richards, okay? All right, so technically, he was playing a white man, all right? It was a race swap. His Kang was technically a race swap, if you want to think about it. And if you really want to split hairs, like, oh, Kang wasn't white, who were the last couple people to play Kang in Marvel works? I'm just saying. How about that? Because Robert Downey got to play a black man in Tropic Thunder, which he killed, by the way. And that's the cool thing. See, white actors can play us, but we can't play them. You're lying. White chicks? Did you not see white chicks? Or are you too cool for that type of movie either? Or, or did you just not think of that movie when you came up with this stupid uh, with, with this stupid take? All right, because, you know, you can't do that. He can't do that Tropic Thunder thing now. You can't, you can't even... Shoot, the last time somebody did something remotely blackface, the kid put on the little tribal paint for the for the football game, and y'all tried to the Wakandans tried to crucify that man. So no, I right, stop, stop, stop. White people cannot play black people in movies. Black people could totally play white people in movies. That's insane, bro. Since we have all these disparities, these racial disparities, since it's a multiverse in Marvel, why can't we have different verses, different racial universes? That's racist. This man wants universal segregation, okay? This man wants a whole segregated universe. He wants a niggerverse. He wants the NCU, the nigger cinematic universe. Oh, Lord. No, the Wakandaverse. That's right. It's the Wakandaverse, okay? He wants a Wakandaverse where everybody is Wakandan. Like, Iron Man is Wakandan. All right, daggone, uh, um, you know what I'm saying, Pepper Potts, you know, Thor, you know what I'm saying, daggone Thanos is Wakandan. All right, shoot. I mean, I, that's going to be real interesting when, you know what I'm saying, Red Skull and all the people from Hydra turn out to be Wakandans. Black Nazis, like... <laughs> Oh, man, you know what? You know what? Let's get Kanye to play Red Skull in the Wakandaverse. <laughs> oh, Lord. Just have a whole black Marvel universe, right? You can have an Indian one, an Asian one, an Arab one. Why can't we have our own universe? Where's the white universe? Hold up. He said Indian, Arab, a where's the white? Oh, no white verse? Oh, that must be racist. And see, that's exactly why you couldn't do something like this. Because you would totally accept, you know what I'm saying, this whole box of Skittles were from Marvel universes, but no white verse. Because if there was a white verse, you would probably be the loudest one saying, oh my gosh, it's racist. It's racist to have a white universe where the black people in the white verse. Huh? So you won't have to like fire black actors or anything like that. How about this? Instead of the Avengers, we have the Revengers. Nigga, please. <laughs> huh? Getting our revenge on the white man. Nigga, you niggers. Every day the same s. Did you see the face he did after that? <laughs> Good lord, bro. Okay, so I got an idea. All right, this is how we're going to do the Revengers, right? This is how we're going to do. All right, so we'll have it so that the Revengers are like the Black Avengers, but they're like multiversal, right? So they came from a multiverse where like, uh, um, like, like the, the North lost the Civil War. So like slavery persisted for another like 300 years and like everybody, you know what? Yeah, they came from the same universe as Lovecraft Country because in Lovecraft Country, all the white people are racist regardless of where they happen to live or anything. So yeah. All right, yeah, so they came from the Lovecraft universe where all the white people are racist. And so they left that universe and they ended up in the Wakandaverse and they're trying to start a multiversal war, you know what I'm saying, with the racist universe. <laughs> the Revengers, 
There you go. It's, it's, it's there you go, a little writing prop for your uh your 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 racist MCU movie. But all in all, like you have to give it a little bit of time, okay, for Jonathan Majors. I think Jonathan Majors is gonna make a comeback. All right, he's a great actor, but you gotta give it some time. The the, the trial what? The trial happened like this year. It's been like what? Six or seven months since the trial happened? You you gotta give it at least a year. <laughs> give it at least a year. Not to mention, I mean, they didn't just fire him because of the trial. They also fired him because of all the bad PR and the fact that the multiverse wasn't working. So part of him getting fired wasn't the trial. Part of him getting fired was the fact that the whole multiverse story that he was a part of wasn't working. So they pivoted. It is what it is. Give it some time. He's going to be back. That idea is crazy. Wakanda's be crazy, bro. So, of course, that's about it for this. Uh, tell me what you think down in the comments below. Tell me, Mario, Mario, you're wrong. You know, I said what's happening to, to, to Jonathan Majors is terrible. All right, you, you were just being an Uncle Uncle Tom, Uncle Ruckus, you know what I'm saying, and you're just hating on black people. Or am I right And this uh, friendly neighborhood Wakanda just happens to be crazy? Tell me in the comments down below, and of course, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, people, have yourself a good one.